My name is Anna Parrish, I'm from Auburn, Alabama, and two years ago I started Cleat Closet. Cleat Closet is a cleat exchange program that provides gently used soccer cleats for free to the players and families of Auburn Soccer Association. In spring of 2018, after 15 seasons of playing recreational soccer, I decided that I wanted to focus my junior and senior years of high school on varsity show choir and academics. So after winning the U16 Girls League Championship game, I retired from youth soccer. But I knew that somehow I wanted to stay involved. That next October, as I was cleaning out the back of my closet, I found several pairs of old soccer cleats. The idea came to me. There's a player who could play in these cleats, and it sure would have been more convenient for my parents if I could have worn someone else's outgrown soccer cleats. The cost of new cleats every season adds up. And so, the inspiration for the cleat closet was born. I took my ideas to my dad, who is still coaching and a member of our association's board of directors. He encouraged me to start small and brainstorm. He suggested that we call it the boot room, which I did not like, and we began discussing ways the program could work. By January, we had ordered donation bins and created an informational webpage. I started an Instagram account and advertised with flyers at the soccer fields. We encouraged everyone we knew to dig through their garage, attic, and closets to find unneeded cleats to donate to the cause. Thankfully, the City of Auburn Parks and Rec staff specifically Ryan Moult, who is the league sports coordinator, and Becky Richardson, the director, generously offered a convenient home for the growing inventory. An unused snack bar and kitchen area that had been serving as a soccer equipment storage room in the back of the soccer complex's main building. The next and most strenuous step was to clean the cleat closet's new location. It was a mess. For several afternoons and evenings, my dad and I swept up hundreds of dead spiders, two dead snakes, mouse poop, cobwebs, and years of dirt and grass. I organized soccer balls into boxes and jerseys onto shelves, cleaned the dirty cabinets and counters, and we threw out several bags of trash. By September of 2019, the cleat closet's home was finally nearly ready. I set aside time every week to regularly check the two donation bins. One located at the Dean Road Recreation Center in town, and the second one a large rolling bin at the soccer complex. And to my surprise, every time I opened a bin, there are more used cleats, and sometimes garbage, and once a dirty diaper. Oh my gosh. For the next three months, I spent two afternoons a week cleaning and organizing cleats. The first step in processing donations is discarding of the ones that are unusable. I once tossed out a pair of cleats that appeared to be the home to a giant spider. Oh my gosh. Next, with a stiff brush, I remove the grass and dirt, and then I scrub and wipe the surface with cleaner. The final step is to spray the inside of the cleats with a deodorant and disinfectant and place them on the shelf. I then set designated times and days for parents and players to come visit and try on soccer cleats. The first two seasons were very frustrating because even though parents seemed excited about this service project, foot traffic was slow and I had only given away two or three pairs of cleats. I knew that the project was a good idea, but it had to improve. So I refined the way that I had been tracking inventory so that it was easier for parents to get cleats when I was not there in person to help. I created a master spreadsheet online and ordered every pair of cleats in a Ziploc bag keep them dirt and spider free. I also assigned unique tracking numbers on cards. So if someone liked a pair of cleats, they could leave the card in the outgoing box when they took the cleats home. And I could adjust the inventory spreadsheet the next time I was on site. Despite my early frustrations with this project, momentum is improving and word continues to spread. I've already distributed 13 pairs of cleats this preseason and there are more than a hundred pairs available to our soccer players, all for free. I'm excited to see how Cleat Closet continues to grow and positively affect my hometown and its soccer players. And I'm thankful for everyone, the coaches, parents, soccer board members, and the Parks and Rec staff, whose willingness to let me try something new has helped me in my Cleat Closet journey. This project has been hard work, and it has taken a lot longer to organize and plan than I first expected. And I like how it's an easy way for soccer families to help each other out. 
Soccer is the beautiful game and this service project is a beautiful thing. Oh my gosh.